YouTuber Thomas Frank makes over $100,000 a month without lifting a finger, sort of. But this stream of passive income didn't come around overnight, and to create the system that helped him achieve it, he had to do something probably most of us couldn't imagine. Abandon his 2.5 million subscriber YouTube channel. So why was this necessary? And more importantly, why is this something that should worry creators who are totally reliant on their YouTube channel as a source of income? To answer that, I need to ask you this. Do you ever worry that you don't see your friends enough, that you don't text them enough, or even that you should just arrange a beer with that guy at work who you keep promising to hang out with? It's really easy to feel like everyone we ever meet and like deserves a decent portion of our time. But studies have actually found that we only need three to five close friends to feel fulfilled. And considering it takes us around 200 hours to reach that level of closeness, we eventually have to decide who we're going to deepen our relationships with. And that brings me back to Thomas Frank. Because in August 2020, his YouTube channel was absolutely flying. He was just about to hit 2 million subs and his videos were raking in hundreds of thousands of views. Sounds like a dream situation for any YouTuber, right? But around that time, he started a second channel called Thomas Frank Explains. And today, his main channel has been all but abandoned. But why? Well, Thomas Frank stopped trying to be close friends with every single person he'd ever met and instead chose to nurture the relationships to which he could give the most and which would give him the most in return. And in doing so, he sidestepped an absolutely massive financial risk that not many full-time YouTubers ever think about, but I'm gonna come back to that. So why has Thomas Frank pretty much stopped posting on his main channel, and why has that allowed him to make even more money than ever? Well, despite having grown his channel by dishing out productivity advice, the self-help YouTube sphere is incredibly broad, and it gains interest from people across hundreds of different niches, but the content on his second channel is really niche down and it's aimed solely at hardline Notion users. The kind of people who want software for everything they do and want to learn the most complex features. And this is the most important part of Thomas's marketing plan. By focusing hard on a specific content niche and then substantially upgrading the customer experience, he primes almost every subscriber to become a customer. And his advice to us was, build the go-to channel in your niche, then sell a useful products to your audience. So let's take a look at his marketing funnel that allowed him to make those absolutely ludicrous sums of money from a relatively small YouTube channel. And then we'll have a look at how you can make your audience's customer experience 10 times more memorable too. So at the top, we've got the Thomas Frank Explains YouTube channel. And that's got content around Notion fundamentals and build guys, feature releases, quick tips, and advanced technical videos. Essentially, it's a catalog of all the skills you need to learn Notion to the highest degree. A Notion nerd's dream. <laughs> Each of these videos is also then turned into a blog post. Now you might think that an easy way to kickstart this content would have been to promote it on his main channel, but he's hardly mentioned it to his existing two and a half million subscribers. Instead, he relies on a combination of organic algorithm promotion from YouTube and SEO for his blog posts. Now Thomas actually tweeted, much of that growth comes from identifying the right topics to cover, hence the pillars. And this is a key point. Becoming the go-to person in your niche means you need to find the perfect content for that niche audience. And because his active audience on his main channel were always asking about Notion, he was basically able to carry out his market research by scouring the comments of his videos. Now, if you're looking to niche down in this way, you have to be guided by your audience's needs. Even if you only get a few comments per video or you've got a mailing list of 100 or less. The sooner you find out what they want and combine that with what you love to make the most, the sooner you'll be able to meet your audience's needs. So Thomas is nurturing the relationship with the people who love this one thing as much as he does. And that allows him to then steer the direction of that community. Now, the next level of the funnel is the freebies. Everyone loves a freebie. You can download the majority of the stuff you see in his videos for free. But his marketing is so effective, while you might have gone in there intending to download a single template, you'll probably leave with his entire back catalog. Because when you download one template, you're given the option to sign up to his templates list to stay up to date with future releases. It's non-compulsory, so it doesn't feel scammy or desperate at all. And because he's already done such a good job at showing you how useful they are in his videos, you feel like you may as well. And this is where he unleashes his secret weapon called Plus. And he said this about it, Plus is that little extra spit and polish that moves what you do from merely good to truly flipping great. 
He didn't say flipping, I added that bit in. The moment you sign up for his template list, not only do you get the template, but you automatically receive a link for every free template he's ever released, or without asking for it. Thomas is basically that friend who brings dessert to your house, even though you said you'd do all the cooking. And he said the reason he does this is because he believes surprise and delight are business superpowers, and that you should always be looking for ways to exceed people's expectations. And this brings us on to the bottom of the funnel, the paid stuff. Once again, he goes above and beyond. His flagship Notion templates like Ultimate Brain and Creator Companions haven't simply just been thrown up on a landing page. Instead, he's created an entire website dedicated to them. Now, I'm not 100% saying that you need to go as far as him. Something simpler would be fine, as long as you can communicate to your potential customers the reason that they should choose your product to solve their problem. And again, you don't have to do this on a website. You can do it on Twitter or talk about it in your newsletter, or you could tie it to a homing pigeon and fire it to someone. Maybe not that one. You just need to convince people that you have the answer they're looking for. But it doesn't stop there. So beyond the free product and the objection-busting website copy, he also creates an outstanding sense of value within the products themselves. So you can buy into his two biggest templates in a product bundle. And if you go through the website, he gives you a discount code for even more off. We get better value and he gets more well, money. You then get access to a whole bunch of additional bonuses, including onboarding videos, help documents, and a private circle community. And again, I'm not saying you have to do all of these things, but it gives you a really good idea of some of the ways you can drastically improve your customer's experience. It also kind of helps that his product isn't a course. Now, don't get me wrong, I think courses can be great. I would say that, I make them. But some people, they think they're scammy. Scammy. So having a flagship product that's not a course only expands his potential customer base and it makes him seem less like an evil you can tweak your existing marketing instead of focusing on just pumping out more and more content. This can lead to higher revenue from fewer views. And what's more, it simply wouldn't have been possible for Thomas to provide this level of care without reducing the time he spent on his main channel. So I ask thee this, what subset of your audience can you really go above and beyond for to create that true fans feeling that's necessary for continued financial stability as a it brings me on to a problem. Thomas is clearly a really savvy marketer who has a ton of experience. But what if you're not? Can anyone start generating more revenue today? First, you need to make sure you don't make these five really common mistakes I see YouTubers make all the time by watching this video here. And once you fix them, you can build the foundations that will help you level up to Thomas's epic extreme marketing guru-ness one day.